Robert, I hope you we'll have a wonderful Easter. As you, you are still in your holidays, may you please give me a few minutes of your time as we take a journey into the school of wisdom. And this morning we'll be looking at wisdom for establishment. Wisdom for establishment. I'll take two scriptures. Number one is Proverbs chapter 24, verse 3. Proverbs chapter 24, verse 3. And I'm going to use amplified version. The Bible says, true skillful and godly wisdom. A house a life, a home, a family is built, and by understanding it is established on a sound and good foundation. Through wisdom, a house, and in brackets, life, marriage, home, family. One more scripture, Proverbs chapter 14 verse 1. The Bible says, every wise woman builded her house, but the foolish pluck it down with her hands. If you bring two scriptures together, they are just speaking one language. That wisdom is like a chief architect. It means that wisdom is a master builder. It says that by wisdom is a house. And in bracket, according to Amplify, a life, a home. A family. My dear brothers and sisters, please let it be settled in our heart that it takes wisdom for stability of life. It takes wisdom for stability of destiny. It takes wisdom for stability of any organization. And it takes wisdom for, it, for the stability of any career. Anywhere there is instability, it means that foolishness is the architect. Anywhere there is instability, foolishness is the architect. Your level of wisdom determines the solidity of your life. Your level of wisdom determines the solidity of your destiny. The level of your wisdom determines the solidity of any organization. And that's why the Bible say that wisdom is a principal thing. With all you are getting, get wisdom. With all you are getting, get wisdom. And the Bible also says, if any man lack wisdom, let him ask of God that gives unto such a person freely. Why is this so? Wisdom is behind the making of great destinies. Wisdom is behind the making of achievers. Wisdom is behind the making of great organization. Many people have collapsed in destiny because wisdom was found one thing. Many people are struggling today in their career because wisdom is found one thing. All the people that were established in Bible times were men and women of wisdom. Talk about a woman called Abigail. The husband was a foolish man, sorry. His name is Nada. The Bible says his name is so he is. He will have wasted his life on the account of foolishness. Remember the account of Nada. His name means foolishness. When David asked for help from him, he foolishly turned down the servants that David sent. And as David was preparing to go and shed his blood, Abigail, the wise wife he had, went ahead of time. That is wisdom for you. So what am I trying to say? I have a weak advice to give you so that I can leave you continue with your Easter holiday. Before you get into any venture in life, please take time and ask for wisdom. If you want to succeed in it, before you get into marriage, demand for wisdom on how to remain marriageable. Many people have gotten where they have got have gotten wedded today and after a year the marriage is no more why. Wisdom was found wanting in career, in your career, before you get into anything. There is a wisdom model to operate any department of life. There is a wisdom model to operate the marriage model. There is a wisdom model to function in that career that you want to go into. 
So all that is needed is for you to tell yourself, if I step into this, if I make that move, let me first demand for wisdom from God. Even before you get into ministry, many ministries are collapsing today because the people in charge of those ministries never are demanded for wisdom. And it is my prayer that you will not fail. It is my prayer that the wisdom that is needed for stability in your marriage, wisdom that is needed for stability in your relationship, wisdom that is needed for stability in your career, shall be unleashed unto you. I demand for a, the necessary wisdom to run your life to begin to bust out. And Jesus will take all the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Enjoy your day. God bless you.